يعني إذا قال إنه يرد حديث النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم هذا يكفر فمن ينكر السنة فقد كفر هذا حكم فقهي أجمع عليه علماء الأمة consensus of all scholars that if a person changes his religion from Islam to any other religion the punishment should be execution death here's the twist if you read the Quran from cover to cover you will not find any direct order to kill the apostates in fact you will find at some points the exact opposite. You will find lots of verses that order the killing of infidels. But not the apostates. So does that mean that all Muslim scholars are wrong towards that matter? No. And here's why. Muslim scholars believe that the Sunnah or the um, Islamic set of laws that are taken from Muhammad's words or actions are as equally powerful or sometimes even more powerful than supposedly Allah's own words written in the Quran. So when Muhammad said, kill whoever abandoned Islam, Muslim scholars in this case had to scratch out some of the verses in the Quran that contradict with what he said and deem them as useless. Similarly, Y chromosome Adam. All males have a Y chromosome, no females do. All males get their Y chromosome from their father, their paternal grandfather, their paternal paternal great grandfather, and so on. And that individual probably lived a matter of a few tens of thousands of years ago.
المسلم يجاهد مين؟ وهنا هتلاقي الرد واضح وصريح في آية اقتل المشركين بس ثانية واحدة في آيات من القرآن مناقضة لسورة التوبة زي مثلا وأعرض عن المشركين أو فأعفوا واصفحوا أو فأعرض عنهم وتوكل على الله أو وإن جنحوا للسلم وغيرها من آيات الصفح والعفو والتسامح مش كل دي آيات بتدل على إن الجهاد فريضة في حالة الدفاع فقط؟ أقول لك صح هي فعلا معناها كده لكن كل دي آيات منسوخة 